trenches. You know, it's cliche, but true. Um, you know, you fight for every inch you can get, and the lower man wins. Um, you know, the MAC has a lot of really good offensive and defensive linemen. I think that's been shown. You know, in the draft, and you know, just people getting recognition. I'm sure there are lots of guys who, more, lots more guys who deserve it. But you know, I can think. You know, two years ago we had the number one pick. Last year we had the number five pick. So I mean, I definitely think there's a MAC offensive and defensive line recognition out there. You know, I think as a college football player, everyone's dream is to play in the NFL. And, um, you know, Mac, Mac football, you, you got to be on top of your game every week because, you know, the level of competition is so even that, you know, you have a slip up one week and you're behind the rest of the season. Um, I think it just shows the amount of preparation that goes in every week for every team. Well, I think the strong offenses have a lot to do with the coaching staffs. Um, you know, there are a lot of young, great coaches that have come through. Coach Campbell, you know, is an offensive minded guy who started out as our offense coordinator, now moved to the head coach. And, um, you know, his offense has been extremely successful, excuse me, as well as uh, many others. But um, I think it just shows, you know, there are a lot of fast athletic players, too, in the MAC, you know, wide receivers, running backs, quarterbacks who just click well together. I think so. Um, you know, at Toledo, at least in my four years, I've been blessed with great running backs. You know, we had uh, Morgan Williams and Donis Thomas before Davis Llewellyn, and those guys were both, you know, spectacular runners in their own rights. So uh, we've been very fortunate to have three really good running backs, which has, you know, been a large part of why our offense has been so successful. But I definitely think, you know, running backs are becoming big, yeah. I think the two teams that, you know, are extremely talented, I think it's two teams that play as hard as they can every snap. And I think two teams that genuinely, you know, want to win. And um, I think of the FCA banquet, you know, on the lighter side, but you know, there's just a genuine rivalry being so close and being two talented teams and, you know, the crossover every single year, it's, it's, it's a consistency factor too. I'm not a huge pregame ritual guy. Um, the night before, I will not eat steak. You know, if there's if there is steak available, I will not eat it. Um, I'm a chicken guy before the game. It was uh, my redshirt freshman year at Ohio State. It was the only time I had steak, and uh, never never again. So I guess that would be my one ritual. First memory would have to be uh, third grade. Went out against West Claremont. Uh, we were the four Hills Bulldogs and uh, got a 32 dive up the middle and scored a touchdown. I was a fullback back then, so it was a while ago, a long long time ago. But it was it was the first one. <laughs>